Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is Components of Math. So let's get started. So components are title, scale, direction, conventional symbol. There are four major components of the map. Without these components, we can't study a map effectively. These components are the storehouse of information of a map. So the very first is title. Title shows the name of a map. It tells the reader what the map is all about. All maps should have an effective and accurate title. For example, rainfall distribution in India. It means that this map shows the rainfall distribution in India. Scale. Scale is the ratio between a unit distance on the map to a proportionate distance on the ground. Distance on a map is shown with the help of a scale.
All the maps are based on a scale. With the help of a scale, maps can be reduced or enlarged. The size of map is compared to the real size of a place with the help of a scale. Types of scales. Scales are of three types. Statement scale. The type of scale used simple words to describe a prominent surface feature. The unit is mentioned in statement scale. It is also called verbal scale or verbal statement scale. is very common to play. Most of the maps are based on linear scale. It has a straight line drawn to a scale that is further divided in terms of distance on the earth. RF scale, RF means representative fraction. In RF scale, units are not mentioned. And the ratio is shown as a fraction. In RF scale, numerator is always 1, but denominator varies with the size of the map. Direction. Direction is actually a course along which someone or something moves. A compass is a device with a magnetic middle which tells us about the direction. Broadly, directions are of two types.
cardinal direction north south east and west are the cardinal directions these are also called the four cardinal points of the compass Intermediate direction directions that lies between two cardinal points are called intermediate directions. Northeast, southeast, northwest, and southwest are the intermediate directions. All these directions tells us which way to go. They enable us to find out the places. Conventional symbols. Conventional symbols are universally accepted symbols that we use on map to represent various features of the Earth's surface. provide plenty of information in a limited space. They make a map very simple and understandable. Conventional symbols are also called map legend because they tell the story of the map. Like legend, they are also called a map key as they unlock the meaning of various symbols. Some important conventional symbols. There are three types of conventional symbols. Line symbols, point symbols, area symbols. Line symbols, road, railways, boundaries, etc. Point symbols are for tanks, buildings, etc. Area symbols are for settlements, cultivation, etc. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, Don't forget to press the bell icon.